Hey guys, welcome to another plugin tutorial and today it's on projectile trails. So this is a fantastic plugin which I was told about a few minutes ago by the dev. I've had a look and it's absolutely fantastic. So we have all of these different trails that you can put on arrows and we also have some for the snowball. There is also a custom one that you can edit in the config yourself so we'll have a look at that a bit later. So for now let's get a bow, let's also get some arrows and some snowballs as well. So if we go into the GY, um, you can see all of these different ones. Let's have a look at the note trail. This is one of my favorites. As you can see, behind the arrow there is lots of different notes. It looks really awesome. If we go into the snowball one, there is the explosion trail. And if we fire this, it's pretty crazy. There is a huge explosion behind the snowball as well. Like it's going faster than the speed of sound or something. But uh, I doubt it is. So let's have a look at some of the others. There is the heart trail as well. That's uh, pretty nice. Maybe you could do that on Valentine's Day or something. Uh, there is the fire trailer for the bow. And uh, that's pretty crazy. Fire just shoots everywhere from it. Let's see what other ones there are. The redstone trail, happy villager, enchanting, uh, ender trail, uh, smoke trail. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, that's pretty cool as well. As you can see, there are a lot more in arrows, but um, it's still really awesome. Witch trail. Rainbow dust, very very cool indeed. So I'm going to go through the commands and we are going to look at the config file a bit later. So let me just destroy these two guys. If you do forward slash pt that will show us all the commands. We can do ptgy and whichever one we want, so the arrow one. And obviously that brings up the same thing as right clicking one of the armor stands. Now you can get an armor stand by doing this, forward slash pt armor stand spelt the British way uh, which is pretty surprising so make sure you put that U in there or it will not work and either arrow or snowball and that will spawn him in and obviously you can just right click him um, to get your trail and obviously you can clear it if you don't want it anymore which is really awesome so that is how you do that you can obviously do PT reload to reload the config file if you made any changes or whatnot so that is everything in game as you can see very very cool we are going to go into the config file now and have a look at what you can edit. So here we are in the projectile trails folder. If we go into the config file we can see what we can edit. So if we start at the top there are a few messages that you probably shouldn't change but you could if you really wanted to such as the colors or prefix that sort of thing. We then have the arrow stand which you could change the name of and the skin that appears on the head we then have the custom trails. So this is pretty awesome. You can change the name. So we are going to set it to um, a random trail. You can change the permission. So uh, arrow trails dot random. The block ID of it. So you could choose anything you wanted to really. So what is emerald 3, 8 something? I'm not too sure. So we're going to go with 56, which I believe is... Um, diamond block possibly. Block data is going to be zero and the effect is going to be uh, drip lava. I know that's one. Uh, there is quite a few of these so look them up and see which ones you want. The amount is going to be 10. Let's have a lot of drip lava and effect two is going to be heart and let's have five of those. So that's how you do a custom trail for um, the arrows. Down here we can see all the snowball stuff, so we have the trails, we have the snowball stand, obviously you can change the same things with that, and the snowball custom trail. So you could add more effects if you wanted to, so effect 2, amount 2, uh, you could change this to uh, drip water, like that, and change the amount again. So that is how you make a custom trail, you can obviously change the name and permission as well, but overall it's a really cool plugin. Um, it's just add something pretty neat to the game. Um, so yeah, that's the plugin. You can download it off of Spigot. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.